Well, hello and welcome today. Um, I've come outside, it's a little bit windy. I hope the sound isn't too bad for you. Last week, we saw some amazing football in the FA Cup. And I watched uh, a game between Boreham Wood and Bournemouth. Now, no one expected Boreham Wood to win. Bournemouth, the ex-premier side, the big guys against the, uh, you know, the small team with not a lot of resource and not a lot of funding. And it was an exciting game. But do you know, the bit that really caught my attention was the bit just before the game, when Ian Wright met up with a guy called Adrian Clifton. And Adrian is one of the players for Boreham Wood. But Adrian has an interesting story because his story starts as a drug dealer and as a serving uh, prisoner on the Portland prison. But he met Ian Wright. Ian went into prison and see if football could turn people's lives around. And it's a wonderful interview. I encourage you to, to watch it. We've put it on the website because it talks about this guy's life and what it was like before the intervention of Ian Wright, before he discovered and rediscovered football in prison. During the interview, there's a real poignant moment where they spoke to his mum and she said this, she said, she preferred him in jail because when he was in jail he wasn't dead or he wasn't out killing. Isn't that just such a sad thing for a mother to say? And yet that was his story. I'd encourage you to watch the interview. Last week we had Camilla from Safe Families come and speak to us and she gave us a wonderful talk on the ways that Safe Family meets with people just in the same way that Ian Wright did and the ways in which they can turn people's lives around. And I was thinking about it, and I thought about it, and the thing is this, football is great, but we have something better. I'm sorry if you're an amazing football fan, but the truth is we do, we have something better. And Camilla shared with us a technique which I thought was really helpful, just the acronym CARE. If we show consistency, if we make ourselves available, if we're reliable and if we're empathetic, we can make a huge difference to people's lives because we have good news and it's good news that's better than football, as good as football is. It's the good news of Jesus Christ. So I encourage you to watch the video, it's great. To re-listen to Camilla's talk, I've put a link on the website of how you can go to the Listening Again page and listen to that talk. It's really inspiring. And in the meantime, we pray as always that you'll have a great week. Thanks so much.